Coming up on Spotlight Utah, the power of appreciation. Are you aware and stuff that makes you go, hmm. <clears throat> Welcome to Spotlight Utah. I'm your host, Char Lewis, and today we are spotlighting the power of appreciation. It's the topic of a popular new book called Focus on the Good Stuff, The Power of Appreciation. Joining me now is the book's author, Mike Robbins. He is a former pitcher in the Kansas City Royals organization and is now a well-known keynote speaker and expert in gratitude and personal development. Welcome, Mike. Sure, thanks for having me. Appreciate you being here. Yeah. Now tell us about this fabulous book. But the one thing I want to know is how did you go from baseball to public speaking and author? Well, unfortunately, it was because I got hurt. You know, I, I got drafted by the Kansas City Royals out of Stanford University. I was excited. All I ever wanted to do since I was a little boy was play in the major leagues. And my third season in the minor leagues with Kansas City, I went out to pitch one night, and I blew my arm out. Mm. So, you know, there I was at 23 years old. My career as a baseball player was over. And as difficult as it was, as I moved through that process, as I look back on the whole experience, I only had one regret, and that was that I didn't fully appreciate it while it was happening. So as I got into the business world, I started to notice some of the same phenomenon. And seven years ago, I started speaking all over the country to businesses, to schools and churches, all about focusing on the good stuff. So that's how I started You know, doing and this. you mentioned that, and it is so true. I mean, so many things with our kids and ourselves, we have all these great things going on, but we're so busy making them happen. You're right, we don't always stop and appreciate what is actually happening. You know, we don't. I was in Houston back in the spring, and I was just done with a speaking engagement with Chevron. I got in a cab, and sadly, it was the day of the Virginia Tech shooting. It's really oh. sad. And I was feeling emotional about it. I started talking to the cab driver, and we started talking about this culture and things, and he told me he was from Ethiopia. And I asked him a question in the middle of our conversation. I said, what do you think about this culture, given that you didn't grow up here? Mm -hmm. And he said, well, if I could be really honest, I think a lot of people in this culture act like spoiled brats. And I said, really? He said, you know, Mike, I'm from Ethiopia. Every day here is a good day. Yeah. And it was such a good reminder. That is a yeah. great reminder. And as we get into your book and mm -hmm. some public speaking, let's take a look at you in action. Okay. It's one of the best and most authentic things you can do to encourage, empower, and motivate another person is look them in the eye and tell them what you appreciate about them. They'd actually rather have that than even most really nice gifts if you do it genuinely. But what if we put more attention on what was good, what was working, what we appreciated, what we liked, and a little less attention on what we didn't and what wasn't working so well? It makes a difference. I see this day in and day out in the work that I do. People are starving for acknowledgement, starving for it. How do you empower people around you and organizations, the groups that you're in, to be successful? How do you empower yourself to be successful? And the key that I found through my experience in sports and then in business and now in the work that I do as a consultant, as a speaker, as a trainer and a coach, the power of appreciation is really the key. The power of appreciation yeah. is the key. Yes. Now let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. If we're focusing on just the good stuff, mm -hmm. appreciating everything that's going on day to day, are we losing sight of maybe some of the problems and things that need our attention? Are we becoming self-centered if we do that? Well, I think it's a good question, and we've got to keep it in balance. My feeling is, in my own life personally, and I don't know how this is for you or a lot of people watching, but we have a tendency to focus way more on the bad stuff. So this is really about bringing it more into balance. And remember, it's not that there are, is no bad stuff. This is just where do we put our attention? Because you know most of our lives are filled with lots of good stuff, the people around us, where we work, our families. And then the question we gotta ask ourselves is what are we paying attention to on a daily basis? So that's really the key. Right, and I find you, know, you see that at work. Mm -hmm. You hear that from friends, coworkers, family members, people who are always saying, you know, if they would have just said thank you, if they yeah. would have just appreciated the effort that I'd put into that, or even my kids, I mean, oftentimes, I mean, my kids are pretty good. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, they take things for granted, too. And, you know, how do you get kids and people to say thank you, to recognize the things that are good in their life? Well, some of it is we just have to learn in our own ways. You know, like my story of my baseball career ending, sadly it was something bad happening or something difficult happening, but you can model it and really show your children or at work. You know, one of the things about the business world, the Department of Labor did some study a while back and they polled people who left their jobs and what they found was that 64% of people in America who left their jobs said the reason they left is because they didn't feel appreciated. So it's the number one reason that people leave work. And when I'm speaking in the business world, I talk to managers and leaders all the time or just people at whatever level in an organization 
a simple thank you, a simple compliment, a simple pat on the back is a lot of times way more valuable than even something big and some bonus. Oh, it really is. I agree with that 100%. So what would you tell people? What is the best advice you can give to really find those things and recognize them? I mean, it's fine to say, okay, do it, Char. Yes. Remember to do it. But how do you really get people to make that change on a daily basis? Well, there's really three steps to it, as I talk about and focus on the good stuff. The first thing is we have to identify our own personal version of negativity, because we all have it. And once we can identify it, we can start to move beyond it. The second thing is to start creating daily practices. It's not just a one time a year at Thanksgiving or on someone's mm -hmm. birthday or when you're in a good mood. It's every day looking for good things and actually, you know, talking about them. And then the third thing is that is actually putting it into action where you compliment people, you know, you ask people on the street how they're doing. You know, if you call my office on the voicemail, it says, hey, this is Mike. Sorry, I missed your call. And in your message, let me know something you're grateful for. I get the coolest voicemails because people yeah. tell me, yeah. but I'm constantly asking people that all the time. So we got to put it into our daily lives. And that's as funny because we kind of put that to the test this these last few days with my kids at home. Yeah. And we're actually quite appreciative most of the time anyways. But when I would ask them to say something, I yes. say things all the time. But when yes. I asked them, I was like, well, what are you thankful for? What happened that was really great today? Yes. And, you know, they go, Wah. you know, I don't know. And it's like, yes, you do. Give yep. it a minute of thought and you'll find something really great that happened to you today. Well, and it's great that you ask those questions, you know, with our families. You know, my wife, Michelle, is really, really good at this. She's taught me a lot. And one of the things we can do, we can actually ask for appreciation. As odd as that sounds, you know, yeah. when Michelle and I first started dating, instead of getting mad at me when I wouldn't appreciate her, she would just raise her hand and say, I would like to be acknowledged. <laughs> and all of a sudden I would be like, well, for what? And then she'd tell me. And yeah. she started to teach me the things that were important to her to be acknowledged for. Right. You know, and now I'm much better at being able to do that because she told me. And that is great advice. And there's a lot more of that great yes. advice in your book, Focus on the Good Stuff. So we would encourage people to go to your website. What is your website real quick? Focusonthegoodstuff.com. Oh, that's easy enough to remember. <laughs> and are you aware? Come on back.